I, the 18 years I was in Congress, you know, people primarily know me as, um, as a budget guy, but I spent 18 years on the Armed Services Committee. So I had an opportunity to, to really understand our military strategies and, um, and a lot about foreign policy, Bruce. Well, I think the, the takeaway is that the, the RJC is continuing to emerge as a uh, very important voice and a very important organization uh, within the Jewish community and the Republican Party. The fact that we're able to attract, uh, first of all, our largest gathering in our history uh, underscores the fact that, that this is a growing movement. The, the, the number of Jewish Republicans are clearly growing and the excitement and the passion that they bring to the cause is clearly on the rise. But it also underscores how valuable people in the Republican Party view this organization. The fact that so many top, top tier uh, party leaders fly out to, to Las Vegas to join us and to be part of this weekend. I think the highlights are, are, the, are the, uh, the highlight is the community itself. Uh, the politicians say what politicians say. It's very important for people who are in a minority of a minority, as, as Republican Jews are, as, cons as politically conservative Jews are, to get a sense of the community that they're in, the national scope of it, sense that people agree with them, that they have points of commonality, that there are politicians who can speak to them, who can say things that they need to hear. And I think that's, that's the highlight of this group in general and this, and this meeting. Well, uh, tonight, uh, today, we just heard Chris Tussie speak to a Jewish group, a strongly pro-Israel Jewish group, and he referred to Judea and Samaria, the West Bank, as occupied territory, uh, when in fact, no Arab country has ever had legal control over Judea and Samaria. <laughs> Jordan illegally, illegally occupied it from 48 to 67. Only two uh, nations in the world recognized it in the entire UN. Pakistan and England, <laughs> and when I went over to him afterwards <laughs> and said, Governor Christie, you understand, use the, term, use of the term occupied is, is an erroneous term, it's inaccurate, <laughs> that the Jews have a much greater religious, political, and historic right to Judea and Samaria. <laughs> I said, we're called Jews because from Judea, we are Judeans, Jewish contraction of the word. So I said, I hope you will seriously consider using the, the more accurate term, disputed territories, mm -hmm. at a minimum. And all he said to me is, yeah, I heard you not uh, shaking your head when I used Occupy. I said, yes, that's true. He, he saw you. He saw you. He said, I saw you shaking your head. <laughs> I said, okay, that's true. But will you, in the future, use the word, the more accurate term, disputed, disputed territory, or the West Bank or Judean Samaria instead of occupied territory, which is erroneous? And he said, yes, I uh, saw, saw you shaking your head. <laughs> he said it a second time, uh -huh. which led me to believe that he did not want to hear what I had to say. <laughs> he, either, he either has uh, a lack of understanding of the truth, reality, of the issues affecting Israel, mm -hmm. or he's hostile to Israel. <laughs> and when he talked about the Muslim judge that he appointed, <laughs> and he claimed that the people who were concerned about him were simply bigots, <laughs> well, that's not true. People are concerned about this judge because, as, my, as I understand it, he's a member of the Council on Arab Islamic... Uh, American, is American Islamic Relations. Am excuse care? me. Yes, CARE. CARE. Uh, Council. Council on American Islamic. Islamic relations, excuse me, that's correct. Which, mm -hmm. which, which is said to be a mother, Muslim Brotherhood front group. It's been not only a Muslim Brotherhood front group, but also promoting Sharia law in America and extremely hostile to Israel. That's why people are concerned about this judge. If he was a Muslim without these ties, there would have been no issue. So he mischaracterized the issue of this judge to claim it's bigotry when it's not bigotry. It's concern about this person's positions uh, uh, where he feels comfortable promoting Sharia law and where he feels comfortable being a member of a group that's extremely hostile to Israel's existence. That's the issue, and it was very disappointing, to say the least, to see Governor Christie mischaracterize the concern about this judge as simply being because he's a Muslim, when that was not the case at all. Mm -hmm. Do you have concerns about Jews supporting Chris Christie? <laughs> I have concerns uh, about... <laughs> well, you know, look, I have to be careful. I, have concer I, I want more people who care about Israel to understand uh, uh, that Chris Christie uh, seems not to uh, minimally understand the issues affecting Israel. That's my concern. I want more people to understand the problem with Chris Christie when it comes to Israel. 